everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got another ice cream swirl project for you. This stamp set's really fun with that big ice cream cone as kind of the star, but I have really loved playing with these other three little images, the donut, the strawberry, and the cherry. Um, so, you know, don't ever discount your stamps as being, this is only an ice cream stamp. Nope, absolutely, it can be other things. Now, I have created a little box with a little kind of a, it looks like maybe a cupcake holder, um, you know, cupcake liner holding some cherries and strawberries. I'm using some paper um, that is free during celebration, which if you're watching this on the weekend after I published it, this is only available till Thursday. Hopefully you've gotten this paper um, or you get it in time before it's gone. This is the Sunny Days Designer Series paper, which is kind of uh, misleading. It's not all about sunny days. There's some fun fruit patterns in there. And this is one of them, the cherries. You can see it has that, that uh, pool party stripe on the back, but the cherries um, is perfect to go with this little cherry that's in here. Um, so what's inside my box? Well, it's a new candy that I found. Um, they're actually very close to, they may be even exactly the same size as a Ghirardelli square. Um, they're called Sella's Squares. Let me show you. I found them at Walmart. Um, Sella's Squares Milk Chocolate Cherry, a delicious milk chocolate square with a smooth, creamy cherry center. I'll link them on my blog if you're looking for them. Um, and it did say new up at the top of the package when I cut the top off. All right, so the, the box is going to slide down behind your little cluster there to keep it closed. Okay, well, let's get started. Let's make the box first. I am using Real Red, and this is a four and a fourth by nine inch piece of Real Red. We're gonna score the long side at three, at four, at seven, and eight. Then you're gonna score the sides, the short side, at one and three and a fourth. All right, now the first thing you wanna do when you're making a box is to grab your bone folder and burnish those lines really well. Diagonal and horizontal. Okay. All right, now I want you to see on this side, on the right side when we scored, there are two one inch sections. So that's where we're gonna start. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut off these squares. Okay, now I'm not gonna cut at an angle. A lot of times I tell you guys to cut at an angle, but don't do that here, okay? Because this is the flap that folds over. All right, so now we've cut those off. Now we want these tabs to be connected to our sides right here, as opposed to connected to this part. So we're going to take them and we're gonna cut in from the top, okay? Like that. And you don't need to cut the corners off of those either. Okay, so now this is what your piece looks like so far. Now all that's left is to cut these right here and you can cut the corners off of these That'll help. Um, I tend to always cut either to the right or the left of my score line, which then sometimes makes this little tab too big. So I find that if you cut off that corner, you won't have that problem. All right, let's use liquid glue today. You could use Stamp and Seal Plus, Tear and Tape, whichever you prefer. All right, and I put the glue on the outside of those tabs. I'm gonna fold it up into these sides right here like that. And then I'm gonna put glue on the inside of these tabs and it's gonna fold over and kind of hug the other sides like that, okay? It looks kind of like a little raisin box, it's cute. All right, so there is our box. It needs some time to dry, but we're making a video, so I'm not gonna give it that time. Let's put some adhesive here. I have cut, oops, I have cut some of that cherry paper. The measurements are on a free PDF over my blog. So make sure you hop over there, grab that free PDF. All right, and then this is gonna fold over like this. So we're gonna put some adhesive here and put a little strip of that cherry paper like that. 
All right, I'm gonna get some clothes pins and, and hold this, it's gonna hold these down, it's gonna hold the sides down while it's drying, okay? So we can do the other things, whoops. All right, now we're gonna stamp, let's look at our project. We're gonna stamp the cherry three times and the strawberry one time. I'm using Memento Black um, because we're using alcohol markers, so you need to use a water-based ink. And we're gonna color them, like I said, with Stampin' Blends. I'm gonna use my Real Red, and we'll start with our light Real Red. And I'm gonna color all the cherries with light. And then I'm gonna come back and just add a tiny bit of shading over to on the left side. Okay. These are easy to, to color. All right, now I'm gonna take my dark real red and I'm just gonna add a little bit of color back here and then kind of curve it around. So behind the stem and curve it around. Behind the stem, curve it around. Now, the other way you can blend to add shadows is to start with your dark, okay? That's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna start with my dark, adding my shadow there, and then I'll take my light uh, real red and kind of blend that over so that it's lighter on the right side and it's darker on the left. Now, I wanted to use garden green, but we don't have a garden green um, we don't have garden green stampin blends so i got out my blender pen and i'm going to take some of that garden green on my blender pen and just add some color a blender pen is kind of like the tip of a marker and it'll pick up any ink that you want and then when you're done you just run it on your scrap paper until it runs clean and then you can use it on a different color all right last let's add some color to the stems pecan pie and then it's ready to cut out now I've already done that for the sake of the video but let me show you the dies here's the cherry die and the strawberry die so you'll cut those out I have them right here you're also going to want to cut this shape out this is that little cupcake liner and then use your stylus shape dies to cut a basic white circle. And this is from the Everyday Details, which is a new die set from Basic White as well. We'll stamp the thanks in real red right in the middle. And now we're just gonna layer these on. I'm gonna start with my little cup there and I'm gonna put the, the dimensionals down towards the bottom. That way I can tuck my fruit in without the dimensionals being in the way. All right, let's start with our strawberry. It's the biggest one. Okay, I'm gonna tuck that down on that side and then we'll get a strawberry, I mean a cherry and we'll tuck it in like that. Let's get, we need two more. We'll get this one and tuck it in over here. And then the last one, we'll tuck it in the back. Bowl of fruit. My oldest daughter would prefer a bowl of fruit over ice cream or donuts any day. She is my fruit eater. All right, so thanks. I've got my black and vanilla large check ribbon. We'll tie a bow. And snip, get a mini glue dot. Put that right down at the bottom. How cute is that? Any of my 3D projects can be turned into cards. Just make the paper the, the size of the card and add your little cluster. And that is cute enough to be a card. All right, let's get three of these. I designed it so that it would hold three. One, two, three. And we'll tuck those in, pull that down to the front. And now when we put dimensionals, I'm gonna put 
three so that I am certain that it's gonna hold that lid down. It's gonna be strong enough so that it won't pop this up. And then I'm gonna lay this down over like that. So it's just slid in back in there, but the dimensionals are strong enough to hold our little cluster of goodies, our fruit cup there in the front. And there you have it, a fun, easy treat any time of the year. Those chocolate cherry squares are delish. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, let me know if you have questions, and have fun stamping. Bye, everybody.